Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Kitty Loops. So in our last episode, we were able to uh, take advantage of France's weakened state um, due to internal fracturing. And we actually waged a war for the conquest of Zealand, which we won quite easily, as a matter of fact. And we are just transporting our uh, victorious troops back home for their celebratory... Um, Hog feasting, uh, blot sacrificing, and maybe orgy having? I don't know. Well, whatever, it's fine. And I just realized that uh, Odor is actually quite old. 52 years old, in fact. I didn't notice because of his mask covering his um, gross, disgusting face. Kind of looks like he's got lips where his eyeballs should be. It's quite disturbing, Odor. I mean, your name is... Quite disturbing it as it is, but regardless. Lady and Latifi appears to be um, growing quite well, as a matter of fact. He's rowdy and willful, which will, I think, both be handy for when um, when he becomes, uh, takes up the martial education. In the meantime, we are currently pillaging Middleburg, as well as the city of Vlissingen. I may have read that incorrectly, but that's okay. And I think we are just waiting for our, uh, what's we call it? Ooh. Actually. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we do need, uh, Braunschweig. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. We could go to war with Middle Francia for some territory up here. Make our way down to um, Braunschweig. I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, if we can gain um, piety... Uh, we're gaining it rather slowly. I'm thinking that maybe we should... Here's what I'm thinking. Is that we should get a better seer first off. Um, but before we do that... Let's actually get Tribal Organization Max passed. That way we'll just, once this is passed, we'll replace our sycophantic um, seer with someone who's actually uh, competent at his, his, his or her job. And then we'll maybe be able to build up piety that way? Otherwise, I think, what other ways can we build up piety? Maybe by going vikinging? Maybe by... Let's actually just let our troops land, disband them, and then see what options we have to, uh, to wage wars. We wage war against you and conquest that. We'd only be losing prestige. Okay. I would gain piety for subjugating you. Not a bad idea. Hmm. Oh yes, um, so I looked it up and apparently, uh, if you're being attacked by, um, people of a different religion, as a tribal ruler, you can raise religious troops in addition to, uh, um, tribal troops. So I think that's where these guys were getting their, um, 2,000 troops at a time. At least I think that's how it works. I could be wrong, but I think that's how it works. But anyways, um... What was I saying? Right, the Paul Piety thing. Okay, so my thinking is that we get this law passed first. Let's go for it. And immediately, we are being beset by this asshole and his desire for lower tribal organization. So that's unfortunate. But you know what? So be it. You are unfortunately very extremely ill-equipped to uh, fight me right now. So, um... Great! Large bands of uh, jackasses are flocking to this guy's banner to get killed alongside other jackasses. Fan-fucking-tastic. Actually, not the worst thing in the world. And we have approved absolute tribal organization. So we basically just need the piety. Which means that, Seer, you've been amazing. You know, when I asked you to bend and spread, you just spread those cheeks so far wide 
And believe me, your services will be greatly remembered. But, if you'll pardon the pun, we need someone with some different set of skills. Um, let's get you guys to follow them down to Dahl. Crush them right there. And then go back. It's only two counties. Wow, only two chiefs rebelling against me. Great, and apparently some more people have um, decided to help me fight them. Not that I really need it, but uh, thank you regardless. Wow, independence faction. Good grief. <laughs> oh, look at this asshole. I fucking knew it. I knew it, you jerk. Um... Can I revoke anything? Can I... Hmm. No, it doesn't seem like I have any just cause to uh, imprison him or... ...sock it to him. Which is unfortunate, but eh, it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm sure he'll maybe start another... ...um... ...insurrection. And then that'll give me just cause to finally revoke all his shit, possibly. Or I could even just... Can I plot to take his shit? I can't plot to take his shit. That's unfortunate. I was really in the mood for some shit taking, but... Sadly, that does not appear to be the case. Uh, let's give the land to... Your stewardship is garbage. But... At this point, I would say that stewardship is less of an issue. So, sure. And we'll also give it to this dude. Bjorn. Where is it? What am I trying to get? That's the one. That's what I'm trying to give to you. Alright, cool. I... Ledeon? Boom. Martial education. Willful and rowdy. You better not fail me, son. You better turn out to be an amazing martial character. Otherwise... Oh, shit's gonna go down. Not the good kind of shit, either. Alright. Dangerous faction. It's probably gonna pop off in, 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 at any moment. Apparently, we have um, this guy imprisoned? Just let him rot, but also let's r ransom him. Nice. A little bit of extra money there. Fantastic. I could create these things. It would get me prestige. But cost gold. I kind of need to actually because um, I have. It's been a it's been a long time since I've been under my vassal limit. So let's make sure that I'm actually under it now. Uh, I think. Where's a good place to create a duchy? I think here might be a good place to create a duchy. Because this is four counties. Yeah, let's go with that. Who here would make a good duke? You've got good marshal, good stewardship. The perfect candidate. You don't love me, but... Uh, fair enough. Actually, if I give you this title, you probably really love me. There you go, buddy. Oh, damn. And, of course, now he's an upstart asshole. Yep, yeah, no, I'm not def- I'm definitely not giving that to you, you jerk. Um, I don't think I really need, need a sycophant right now. So I think it might not be a bad idea to have someone who is... Kind of an angry dude. Is my marshal a sycophant? He's not... No, he's a, a glory hound. Fine. Let's get the Jarl to be the uh, Marshal. He's actually already a um, powerful character, so let's ignore that. Got this dude. Mm. I kind of like what my uh, steward is doing by um, building a legend. It's pretty helpful. Spymaster, I'd say let's keep him as is. The Seer. I could go for someone who's got an even higher... Hmm... 
Let's go for it. Well, it actually almost doubled the amount of uh, piety that I'd be getting from him, so that's, that's cool. And we will, in fact, make you the... Uh, no, I'm fairly certain you're a bad choice for that. Yeah, let's go with this guy as my advisor. Right, fine, that's good. Um, that those numbers appear to be uh, reducing somewhat, but also rapidly changing. So <laughs> it's a little strange. But let's introduce the heir to the realm. You've invited your vassals to partake in a formal introduction of your heir, Ledion Latifi. He will have to exchange many pleasantries and act in a very formal way, something that might be tiresome for someone as young as him. However, you have full confidence that he will not disappoint you. They will be here soon. Will they, though? Will they? Some dude of Kola is a renowned, godly, learned vassal of yours. After having introduced himself to Lady and Latifi, he approaches you with an offer. He is willing to spend some time teaching Lady and Latifi some of the more intricate mar parts of the sagas in exchange for your favor. Can I just buy your favor right off the back? Right, right off the bat? Hmm, I don't really want to owe you a favor because I feel like you'll somehow finagle your way onto the council. But, Lydion gaining one learning. You know what? Let's go for it. And let's pay you back. It's right off the bat because again, I don't want to owe you a favor. There you go. As Lydion Latifi introduces himself to Gotti of Tholan, he not only accidentally spills a beverage on his shoes, but also manages to insult all of his ancestors. What, you couldn't an uh, insult his descendants too? While having a pleasant conversation, you are suddenly interrupted by an infernal ruckus. Upon further investigation, it seems as if Lady Anne Latifi has gotten into a fight with a child of one that is visiting one of the visiting vassals. You tear the two children apart, but it is obvious that Lady Anne Latifi and Gunhilder, Absjorn, Abs, Absjorn daughter, will not ever be friends after this encounter. Wow, Ledion, you're really a bit of a little shit, aren't you? <laughs> Your warriors have looted, ravaged, and pillaged, and plundered Zealand to such a degree that a holding in the county has become completely devastated. Only ruins, empty ruins remain, haunted by the shades of the slain. Fantastic. And it has become a what? <laughs> Jeez. Fine. Can we build a tribal vassal here, please? Burger of uh, whatever is a renowned fighter and tactician. Yeah, Marshall? Oh, fuck yes. Hell yeah, this is what I've been waiting for. Yeah, and let's pay your uh, favor back. No. Let's bribe you and then pay your favor back. Hell yeah. There we go. Alright. Why can't I build a tribal holding here? Is it because I'm not the actual owner of this? Fuck me. Hey man, um... Can you, uh, can you die by any chance? Is that, is that at all possibility? I know I just gave you this land to rule and all that shit, but... If you could just die... As Ledion Latifi introduces himself to Gotti Hemming of Uppsala, he not only presents himself with grace, but also manages to impress Hemming by skillfully complimenting him. Well, good job for you there. The last of your vassals have left and Ledion Latifi looks relieved. He's obviously exhausted from all the formalities, but having introduced having been introduced like this will hopefully serve him well in the future. Good job, buddy. And my piety is not increasing at the level that I wanted to. You lost your sword, or whatever. Okay, fine. You've approved the plan. Can we please get this guy dead? And apparently we have a small army of zealots. Uh-oh. Fuck. He knows! He knows that we're after him! Kill him. Kill him now! Poisoned wine? Fair enough. His intrigue isn't that great, so, um... 
There we go. At least I'm not a no murderer. So I've got that going for me. It is the wrong type of holding though. I think what we should do is build a tribal thing here and then take over that and then appoint a new uh, dude to uh, rule over that thing. In the meantime, we could hold a great blot. I think that might offset some of the um, uh, negative of having high, such a high, um, whatchamacallit, tribal organization. And I did some research, and I think the general consensus is that it's almost, well, not impossible, but it's very difficult to actually, um, to remain uh, feudal, or sorry, to remain tribal for uh, the entirety of the game. So, hmm, I would like to, if it's possible, but I don't think it's really viable. Especially because tribal troops also suck shit in terms of them. It, it, like, if they went toe-to-toe -to -toe against someone, like a feudal tro um, troop, feudal army, they'll probably lose. They just, they have the number advantage and they're easy to, you know, manage and all that shit. Again, Helsingland. Every time. Every time, it's the same place, Helsingland. People just ruling that county always die. I could have gone for this guy with the uh, high marshal, but we've got this guy who's content. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Thorbjorn? Congratulations. You are now the chief of Helsingland. Perfect. In the meantime, should I maybe join a satanic cult? I can't reform the religion anymore. Fuck me. You know what? I think we need to go for this place. We need to... We can't. We have raised levies. Where do I have raised levies? Are you talking about these guys? Fine, I'll disband them. They're happy. A little sack of shit. Now can I attack you? I can't. What the fuck are you talking about? Where, where do you see my raised levies? Please. Please tell me where you see my raised levies. Is it my fleets? It is not my fleets. Is it my armies? It is not my armies. Finally. Wow. I don't know what that was about, but... Fair enough. We could take all these places that are surrounded by... Uh. Okay, so we can't go for um, Braunschweig right away. Oh, Skein, what are you doing? What is this war for? Oh, you're attacking Holstein. Oh. Okay. Holstein doesn't really help us. If it was um, Lüneburg. We might be able to take uh, Braunschweig right away, but I think we're gonna have to probably go for Lüneburg ourselves. Where is it? We can't. Actually, I thought we could because um, it was bordering a major river. I thought that was one of the things that we could do, but apparently that is not the case. Which is fine, because we can actually go for this place. And it's still bordering um, Braunschweig. So let's do it. Let's go for the conquest of that place. And uh, we will get our vassals to chi chime in, to chip in. Great. And my marshal tells me that one of my commanders, S Guild, has improved significantly. Fantastic, marshal. Can you instead train troops in Upland, instead of just organizing the army? Thank you. And that does help me somewhat in terms of my, um, levy size. Who are you and why am I your guardian? I am not. Did you lower your prestige? There you go. Have fun with that, you little sack of shit. Siege of the Hamburg tribe? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, that place. I guess they re-sieged it or something? Fair enough. Oh, we're coming for you. We're coming for you. Here we go. Oh, shit. I think it's already been, like, 
completely sieged by my vassal here. Shisa. Well, they've still got a few counties here that we can probably take over, so we've got that going for us. But we need to get there before everyone else, I think. Okay, good. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. I didn't mean to actually... Oh, well, you know what? This one we can siege down. That's fine. Oh, right. They've got more land over here. I don't need to worry about um, running out of land to siege. That's cool. What is your business? Oh, your Frisian peasant revolt. Eh, whatever. Great. You guys couldn't have um, joined in the fight, like, you know, when we started the war? No, you have to come in, like, way afterwards? Cool, thanks. Appreciate it, love you. Can we please seize that down? Perfect. Let's just seize that down too. Awesome. 87%. We almost there, guys. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, shit. Let's go after them. Will we get the war score for that? We will not get the war score for that. You make me sad. Come on, guys. We can do it. Follow them. Crush them. Oh no! My commander died. Oh, so sad. I'm so, so sad that your daddy go bye-bye. I mutilated your close kin. I did. I did. And I enjoyed it. I loved every moment of it. Alright, let's seek treatment for my illness. What illness do I have? Oh, right. Syphilis. 100%! There we go. Boom. Now, if we can somehow get that kid dead... Um... Yeah, let's go with well-tested treatment. Uh... No, well-tested treatment. So my doctor told you to undress and then kneel with your buttocks raised. That was awkward enough, but when you saw the instrument in his hands, you almost bolted. Haystein must have noticed because he patted you calmly on the shoulder and told you to stop clenching. And then he blasted us right in the ass. And twas glorious. Okay, so we managed to create the Zealand tribe, which is great. So now we can create a new vassal for that place. Fantastic. And then we'll also give away Sela. Oh. Look at you! Conveniently just popping into existence there. Ain't that a thing? No. Dangerous factions. Well, these guys actually kind of like me. So I don't know what their issue is. Should I... I kind of want to commission a runestone for Thorfinn, considering he accomplished so much? You know what? Screw the money, let's go for it. You have decided to commission a rune, uh, commission and raise a grand runestone for future generations to gaze upon. What should be carved into it? It shall stand in memory of King Thorfinn, my departed father. Let's do it. Um, anything else happening in the meantime? Aren't there more decisions that come with um, raising that runestone? Apparently, we have a Catholic uprising. Fantastic. That is just lovely. Over in Zealand, of course. Where else? He's an asshole. He is also an asshole. Why? I revoked your title. Oh, right. I forgot I did that to you. Eh, he's a maybe. Okay. Why is he an asshole? Just cuz. He's just an asshole. Straight up. No beating around the bush with this son of a bitch. Alright, fine. Let's deal with this Catholic uprising, please, guys. Let's get all my boats in on this action. That way, um... That way it's kind of easier. Or that way they can get to Zealand faster, right? In memory of Thorfinn. The ruined stone you commissioned has been finished and raised on the spot you chose for it. You examine the runes. The stone was raised by Odor in memory of Thorfinn, his father and and 
Sun. Okay, guys. There's a typo on the uh, runestone. Could you please correct it? Maybe get some white out. I don't know. He was a caring father and husband and lived a good life. Ever will stand this memorial. You leave the stone content in the knowledge that many centuries from now, when its paint has long since faded, scholars will be studying these rune carvings in an effort to glean the wisdom of their words. Oh shit, we get 100% uh, piety. Nice. I completely forgot that raising runestones actually increases um, your piety. Fucking child, get the hell out of my face. Damn. That was awesome. Uh, sorry guys, but you're gonna have to get your own boat. It's a shame I can't transport, um... Where the fuck did these guys go? It's a shame I can't transport, um... Uh, allies on my boats. The, are these guys the Catholic up... Guys, come back. We need to fight you. Let, let me kick your ass. Get over here. Let me... There. 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 Doesn't that feel better now that I've kicked your ass? Feels good, right? I know. I know. Sometimes it just helps to have a good ass kicking. Don't you agree? Guys, don't... Oh, shit. We can do it. We can reform our religion. Uh, excuse me. Boats? Get back home. Oh, shit. Are we gonna do it? We should do it. We should definitely do it. I mean, Braunschweig is never gonna be ours for a long time. This chance, this opportunity isn't gonna come um, again. Boom. Their Germanic Reformation. The ancient Germanic religion is proving unable to withstand the onslaught of the cross and the moon. Rather than abandoning the old ways, Falkir Oder and the most powerful priests have decided to reform the Germanic faith. With codified rites, a holy scripture, and a strict church hierarchy under a single leader, they hope that the reformed Germanic faith is far is uh, better armed to fight back against the weak and effeminate foreign beliefs. For the Thunderer. And we have some people who remained old Germanic, I think. Are you old Germanic? No, you're reformed. Oh, what a shit. Oh, look at this guy, though. He's old Germanic. Oh man, that's not gonna work out for you. Oh shit! New ways for old gods! We got an achievement, boys and girls. Oh damn. Okay. Fine, let's just settle down. Let's get these guys over back there. Murray? Or Mur? I don't know how to pronounce your name. Or that's not even your name, that's the name of the county that you uh that you're ruling. Young Thorbjorn seems to be a- uh, you know what? I don't care. Go learn your stupid ass shit from someone else. You slothful piece of crap. There we go. Oh, is that a maybe? Is, is that a maybe? Little boy? Oh, no. Someone's come to seize your lands. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, actually, there's more people up there. Oops. You know what? That's fine. Let's call on our allies. Wreck this asshole's face. Or maybe his asshole, I don't know. Whichever one hurts more for him, I guess. Come on. Allies. You're sucking shit right now. There we go. Here comes the rest of us, you fool. I say... Let's go with... Um... Hmm. Improved keeps. Because we're going to have to improve it, like, regardless later on, right? So, might as well get the process started now. 100%. Bam. You dumb sack of shit. Boom. You too. Metal pad. And this guy too. Oh, seems like most of the uh, non-germ- or old Germanic dudes actually just rose up in rebellion. I don't think I can ask him to uh, change his ways. So I'm actually just going to revoke him straight up. Perfect. What is this? Ask for help? I don't need no help. 
I don't need no stinking assistance with my managing of realms. And, uh, let's get this guy. You can take... Halo Land. And, uh... Hmm. Oh, right, we're looking at, um... My religion as the New Germanic. Okay, I see. That's why I, the list is considerably smaller. That's fine. I'm okay with that. And then this guy. Arnbjorn. Angerman Land. And I'll also need to give away Mur. Mir? Mir? I don't know. I, I... I like to... I want to try to pronounce these names properly. But I just can't. I just fail. That's okay. That's not why you guys are here, right? To watch me um, pronounce things, or at least try to. Oh, right, he doesn't like me because I have one of his vassals. That, and I also mutilated his uh, dad. Well, I don't really want to give you the vassal. Kind of want to, like, take your shit away from you. Can I get you killed? Oh, then we'll pass on to his brother. Let's not... Let's keep him around to uh, maybe have a reason to imprison him and all that shit. But, whatever, we'll see. Right, so we actually managed to reform our religion, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So, in terms of the Falkir dumb, This is passed on from father to son. Am I correct? Is that... Is that a thing, or... Are there inheritance laws, or... Young Lydian Latifi has finished his education in the ways of war. It seems he has learned all the basic skills required. Why? Why does every heir that I- Every important heir that I try to raise up end up being dull? Why? What? Was he not under my care? Did I send him- did I accidentally send him to be, like, trained by someone else? Did I err? I'm fairly certain I did not err. What the fuck? Damn it! Every fucking time! This <laughs> stupid trait happens too often! Ah! <laughs> uh, fucking grinds my goat like no other. Holy shit. Damn it, Ledian. What the hell, man? You've disappointed me. Uh, then again, I mean, we have had some pretty good characters from pop out of a uh, dull characters, so I guess it's not all that bad. Eh, we'll see. All right, let's leave it off here and continue this in our next episode. Um, we're upon, I don't know, we'll figure some new shit out because we have, in fact, reformed a religion. And actually, I, you know what I'll do in between episodes is I'll actually go through the list of, um, vassals and see if I have anyone who is old Germanic and see if I have lands that I maybe want to take away from these old Germanic dudes, possibly. I don't know. We'll see. It doesn't seem like we actually have a lot of, um, I keep going to the same dude. That's what's happening. But, you know what, I'll just do this in between episodes so I don't bore you guys to tears. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.